So what do you do when you want to look at your data in a more comprehensive manner to get insights from it? So for that you need to make charts and graphs and visualizations in order to present your raw data. But how do you present it? For that you need to make a dashboard. So a dashboard is a visual display of all your data. Dashboards allow all kinds of professionals the ability to monitor performance, create reports and set estimates and targets for future work. So in today's session, we are going to learn how to make a dashboard in Tableau. But before we go ahead, if you like our videos, please subscribe to the Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Also, if you are interested in learning Tableau from scratch, do check out Edureka's Tableau certification training. Now without any further delay, let's get started with today's agenda. So we will start today's session by understanding what is the purpose of Tableau dashboards, followed by understanding what are Tableau dashboards. Then we will understand the difference between Tableau Worksheet and Tableau Dashboards, followed by a few tips to create a dashboard and step to create one. And finally, end our session with the hands-on in Tableau. So now let's go ahead and understand why do we need Tableau Dashboards. So suppose our manager wants to see the profit performance of the company. So as an analyst, what can you do? You'll be provided with the raw data. Now you'll have to analyze the raw data and come up with visualizations which you can show it to your team or your manager and get insights from them. So basically we need a dashboard to have an overview of the company's data and performance. Now dashboards can be used to help business managers make informed decisions that dramatically impact business performance. Now let us understand what are Tableau dashboards. A dashboard is a collection of several views letting you compare a variety of data simultaneously. For example, if you have a set of views that you review every day, you can create a dashboard that displays all the views at once rather than navigate to separate worksheets. But now if you're getting confused between dashboards and worksheets, like what are dashboards and what are worksheets, then let me break that for you. So let's quickly discuss the difference between Tableau worksheets and Tableau dashboards. So Tableau worksheet contains a single view along with shells, cards, legends, and the data and analytics panes in its sidebar. While a Tableau dashboard is a collection of views from multiple worksheets and in its sidebar you will find the dashboard and the layout. So a worksheet is where you build views of your data by dragging and dropping fields onto shelves. While a dashboard is a combination of several views that can arrange for presentation or to monitor. Now coming to how to access worksheet and dashboard separately. So the steps have been clarified in these points. So like for creating a new worksheet, we have to go to worksheet, select new worksheet, or we can right click and open any tab in the workbook and select new worksheet from the menu. Or we can choose from the drop down menu of new worksheet and select new worksheet. Or the shortest way to make a new worksheet would be to press Ctrl M on your keyboard. While for creating a dashboard, you have to go to dashboard and select new dashboard. Or you can click the new dashboard button at the bottom of your workbook. Or you can also right click on any tab in your workbook and select new dashboard from the menu. And like creating a new worksheet, you can also click the drop down arrow from the new worksheet button and select new dashboard. So now let us quickly discuss a few tips before creating our first dashboard. So before we get started with our dashboard, you should know a few points like you should be creatively inspired, like you should have a mind like an artist and take inspiration from as many places as you can see and reflect that in your visualization. Next point would be to know your audience correctly. So it's very important to understand your audience and who you're making the dashboard for in order to get the right visualizations. Third point would be to get relevant data sets. So we might have to choose from a vast range of data and understand our data properly and analyze it in order to get it in our visualization. So for that, we need relevant data sets for making our dashboard more presentable. And lastly would be choose right analysis and right charts. So it is very important to choose the right analysis and right charts in your visualization for creating an impact in the data visualization. So next, let us discuss the steps to create a dashboard. So to begin with, the first step would be to import our data. So you have to select the data source from where you will import your data. Next, you will have to create a new worksheet where you will start your visualization with graphs and bars. 
then you'll have to add more worksheets in order to make a dashboard out of it. Fourth point would be to add all these worksheets on the dashboard and add more interactions like filters, slicers and actions in order to make the dashboard more interactive. And the next step would be to view the dashboard and the final would be to share the dashboard across the stakeholders and the company's manager. So without any further delay, let's get started with our hands-on in Tableau. So this is how Tableau Public looks. To get started with, first we have to import our data. So we'll import a text file, global superstore data, open it in Tableau. So now our data has been imported, as you can see. We have the column headers here, where we have the order details, the customer details, the region details, and the product details. And we also have measures like profit, sales, quantity, shipping cost, and all of this. So now we go to worksheet. So here let's name our worksheet as region-wise profit. So here we get the labeled view. Now for region-wise profit, we'll have to drag region that we have in here to rows and profit in columns. So this is how our visualization looks. This is a horizontal bar chart which shows sum of profit on the x-axis while the name of the regions in the y-axis. So we can also add labels to these bars. For that, we need to drag profit to label. Here we can see the labeled bars now. And we can also add color to this. If we drag profit to colors, then the color changes. So this is how our region-wise profit looks. Now the central region has the highest profit, so it's like dark brown, while the lightest shade of blue is indicating the lowest profit. So this is a region-wise profit where we have the region-wise values of profit in a horizontal bar chart. So if we want to see the state-wise profit, but in a geographical view. So for that, we have to drag state to views, and we can drag profit from measures to the view. So this is how it looks like the sizes of these circles tell us how much profit has been made. But for a better view, we can add colors to these. So for that, we'll have to drag profit to colors and profit to label. So from here, we can change it to colors. Now in this graph, the ones with orange shows loss while the ones with blue shows profit these colors also we can change by clicking color then go to edit colors then from here we can select red and green where red will signify loss and green will signify growth that is profit so the countries which are red in color uh, have loss while the countries which are green in color have more profit so this is a state-wise profit view in a geographical map. So on this visualization, if you select any state, it'll show you the state-wise profit. So now we have the region-wise profit in a vertical bar chart, a state-wise profit in a geographical map. Now let us make another worksheet, which will have the category-wise profit. So for this, we'll drag category from the tables to rows and we'll add profit in columns. So this is a horizontal bar chart, but now if we want to make it to vertical bar chart, we can just swap and make it into a vertical bar chart. Now this shows us the category wise profit. Now if we want to add subcategories to these categories, then we can add subcategories in the column section. Now let us arrange it in ascending order. Here we can see which categories and subcategories have the highest profit and negative profit. And we can compare it with which one has the highest and which one has the lowest. Here also we can add colors to it by dragging profit to colors. The ones with less profit are lighter in shade, while the ones with more profit are darker in shade. And the one which is lost, that is negative profit, is marked in orange. So here also, you can add labels to the columns, but this looks a little clumsy to me, so I'll rather let it be. 
So these are the three views that we have gotten. One is the region wise, state wise and one is category wise. Now let's make a dashboard with these three visualizations. So for making a new dashboard, one option could be go to dashboard, make a new dashboard or we can also come here and select on this and get a new dashboard. We have this on the left pane that is the dashboard, the layout and the sheets that we have already created. While in a worksheet, we have data analytics and the table names and measure names. So that's the difference between a worksheet and a dashboard. So here in the dashboard, first we'll have to choose what size to select. So this is a very important step as it decides how it will be viewed in the front end. So here we have this option as default phone or default. So we are going to choose default because we are not going to visualize in phone. And then this is the size of the dashboard. This is the default size that is there. I can fix the size as well or I can make it automatic. So I'll make it automatic. So it extends like size of the dashboard is going to adjust with the visualization. So if we are making tiled, then our worksheets are going to be in tiles. Like we add this, these are in getting added in tiles. Now, if we make it floating, then we can just drag it and size it according to how we want it. Like there is no fixed. So I prefer using tiled because it gives me because it gets arranged on its own and fits in the dashboard perfectly. So first we'll name the dashboard as profit performance. So to start with making the dashboard, we have to drag our visualization. Let's make it to tiled as that I find easy to work with. So we'll drag region wise profit. Then we'll drag the state wise profit. And the last one category wise profit. So now this is our dashboard. So in this dashboard, you can add filters for individual visualization. Like if we select this filter, then if we select central, it's going to show me the data for central for all the other visualizations. And we can also add filters and slices like we click on this drop down and we choose filters. Now we can choose what kind of filters do, do we want? Do you want region wise filters or sum of profit? I'll add region wise. So there here you can see the region wise filter. So now from here also you can choose what kind of slicer you want. So you select on this visualization, you select on this drop down. Then you can see multiple values from list, multiple values from drop down. I'll choose multiple values from drop down. So here if you select, then you can select all or you can select just one or you can select two and the visualization is going to change for just region wise profit. So now we can similarly add filters for all the other visualization. Like from category wise profit, we can add categories in the filter section. So here we go to filters, we select category. Then the categories got added. So we'll keep it as a list because it's a small list anyway. So if you want to select furniture, then it shows just for furniture like that. And similarly, if you want to visualize a state wise filter, then from this state wise profit worksheet, we can go to filters, select state and you'll get the name of all the states. So here the visualization is that I have to type the name of the state. I'll rather change it to multiple values drop down. So where you can select all or just search which state you want and then select the state. So this was a basic dashboard. You can play around in a dashboard using your creative skills, analytical skills where you can add more visualizations or more charts like a pie chart or a waterfall chart and use actions between the worksheets to notice changes across every visualization. And there's a lot of things that you can do in Tableau. This was a basic dashboard that was discussed in today's session. But we'll have more content on Tableau dashboards where you'll get to learn more about making advanced Tableau dashboards. So I hope this session was helpful for you and you can understand how to get started with Tableau dashboards and eventually make advanced Tableau dashboards. So if you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe to the Edureka YouTube channel for more content.
and if you have any doubt please mention them in our comment section below so that's it for today's session thank you see you again in our next video until then happy learning i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning